What's up guys, welcome back to Shoney Small Engines. Just got this Troy built pressure washer in with four and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Uh, it's got the carb on the side here with the uh, gas tank. Uh, these older models, pretty solid. Um, but the uh, customer complained that it does not start. So uh, I'm gonna show you a quick try to start it and then we'll uh, we'll try to diagnose it, find out what we can find. So we'll make sure it's not on the stop. We're gonna prime it a bunch of times, spark plugs on. So as you can see, it feels like it has compression, um, but I'm not getting it to fire. So I wanna see if I can uh, get some fuel into the intake and see if we can get it to start for a second. That'll tell us if it's spark or has spark and compression. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this cover off. Screwdriver, let's get the air cleaner cover off. The air filter looks basically brand new. Someone probably had trouble starting it, could get it started. That was the first thing I thought of doing. So we're gonna squirt a little bit of fuel into the intake. And when I prime, I'm not getting any fuel coming up. So that's a kind of a good sign. Let's see if we get this to start. All right, started for a second. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna clean this carburetor, probably rebuild it right away because I don't want this thing coming back. So uh, let's get this thing off. Very easy to remove these carburetors. So a 3 8 bolt in the front. And then a half inch bolt right here on the side. Take the breather hose out of the way. And then it's just all it is is this one little governor arm that goes in this hole right here in the top. All right, so let's get this carburetor, let's get this gas can carburetor over, pull it apart, and see what we can find. So I want to check the fuel. It looks pretty clean in there. You always want to check these gas tanks, they usually end up with a little bit of rust. That's not too bad. I'll take that. The fuel's pretty clean. All right, I'll probably replace it anyway just because, but I don't think that's the problem. I want to make sure you don't lose this uh, o-ring and this plastic ring here that goes into the intake here. We don't want to lose that. We're going to get these five screws off. Right, so we have a diaphragm here and a gasket here. I didn't notice during disassembly, but the gasket and diaphragm were in the wrong order. Don't lose the spring. Here's your main jet. So what we're looking for here is any dirt down in here, um, anything clogged up in here. Not too bad. Is this diaphragm in good shape? It's actually not bad, although I don't like how it's starting to fray there and this looks a little flimsy. And this gasket looks pretty good. So it doesn't look terrible. Um, usually what I find is some grime in there. I want to make sure all these patches are clean. I'm going to make sure the main jet is, is clear there. And then, uh, you know, probably put it back together. I, I think I'm going to replace at least this diaphragm, if anything. I would say like 99% of these uh, Briggs & Stratton's have the same gasket part. And here it is. So... I'm just gonna replace the gaskets right away. I usually keep these in stock and I'll show you how to do that. But let me drain the fuel, clean these passages out, clean the carburetor, and then we'll put it back together. All right, just double checking the bottom here. It looks pretty good. So we'll get some fresh fuel in there when we put this back together. All right, so we'll take the screen off, make sure that that's nice and clear. I remove this spring so I don't lose it. I'm gonna make sure this screen is clean, and then we're gonna get try to get this jet out and make sure that it's all clean up inside there. So with a tiny screwdriver, I'm just gonna pry that up, pop it off. There we go. You can see through it, but it it doesn't look fully clear. So I want to make sure I can get some air through that. There we go. 
Also, these little holes on the side need to be clear. That's good. Gonna blow some air up through here. Should feel it come out of the tube there. Good. That's good. A lot of times is the problem with the priming here. It, it gets, this gets blocked and it won't uh, inject fuel into the main throat. So other than that, I think that looks pretty good. Let's start putting this back together. We'll get this screen back on. Just make sure that clips in, yep. The spring also goes on. Too bad. A little bit of grime at the bottom here, but it's not terrible. Scrape a little bit out of that. Just hit it with some carb clean. Not too bad. Okay. New gaskets. I'll put a link to these in the description where you can buy these. All right. I think what I failed to mention on here is I think that the uh, gaskets were on improperly on this also which would uh, mean tough time running, even if it would run. So by getting this on properly, you'll know this goes down first. The, the diaphragm goes down first because it has to cover these holes coming in, all right? Then the gasket comes on. And then we're going to come in with the carburetor. We've got to feed this hole through and line everything up. There we go. And then we're going to get the screws on. Nice and easy with the screws. Don't want to strip any, don't want to, to cross thread these. I usually just snug them with the drill and then come in with the screwdriver. There we go. All right, let's put this back on. Again, make sure this rubber gasket is here and that collar and uh, let's put this back on, get some fresh gas on, see if it starts. All right, when we come back in here, we gotta make sure that this governor arm goes on first. And then that slides into place like that. Come in with the half inch bolt, line that up. Make sure you don't lose this collar that's in here. Just gonna snug this for a second. We have three eighths bolt. Tighten that one down. This goes on top. Breather hose connects to the side here. I always tighten this half inch bolt by hand because this one rattles loose if you don't. There we go. All right, let's uh, get some fuel in and see if we can get some uh, priming going on. All right, some fresh non-ethanol fuel. And now let's give it a few seconds. There it goes. See that shot of fuel come in? Great. So that tells me that's all clear now and this should start. Let's give it a shot. pretty low so uh, let's get it all back together hook some hose up to it and see if we get it to pump oh. 
All right, that's it. Let me hook it up outside and uh, we'll give it a shot. Thanks for watching.